Hello, I'm the Douglinist with a No BS Violin Guide on how to relax your left hand and a little bit on why it is important. Relaxing your left hand is important because it makes it easier to shift, makes it easier to reach higher notes, and it makes it possible to go really fast with your fingers tapping. And I'll explain a little bit more on that later and why it makes it easier to go fast and a little bit more on shifting once I get to explaining on how to relax it. So one of the first things that I tell my students whenever I see that their left hand is tense is I tell them to go ahead and put the head of the violin on the music stand while you are playing. And what this does is that it, it gives you the feeling of being completely relaxed, completely weightless, because the music stand is now holding the violin for you. You don't have to worry about holding it at all, not even with your head. See, right now I'm completely disjointed, right? If you play like this... feeling of what it's supposed to be like. And it's also a good thing for more, even more advanced students is when, you, when you're feeling tense, when you, maybe even if you hit a roadblock, okay, whenever you're practicing a piece or you're doing a really hard excerpt, you can go ahead and just put the head of the violin on the music stand to just make your life easier and to get the feeling of how it's supposed to be like when you are played. So, uh, take away, you can do this to capture the feeling of being relaxed and you can also help yourself whenever you're in a hard excerpt or anything of that like. You can put the head of the violin on it and just get the feeling of relaxation. Small notes um, on a mistake, that, oops, a mistake that some people do when doing this exercise is that they don't put the head of the violin on, they put it right here. See how it's hitting the peg? Don't do that because that can make it, you know, make it untuned and it also might wreck the violin. So just make sure to put the whole head of the violin on top of the music stand, not hit the pegs, and then get that feeling of relaxation that you need. Now the next step for students or for people that have uh, a, a tight left hand while playing the violin is to also use the stand, okay? But we're gonna take it to the next step. So go on the stand, let me make it a little higher. Go on the stand, okay? Go on the stand, feeling of relaxation like I said just earlier, okay, but now I want, I want them to, you know, kind of wiggle like this, wiggle their arm like this, and then drop, okay? Now, you don't have to have, common mistake, you don't have to have this, that, you don't have that. You're not, the goal is not to go like, that's not the goal. The goal is to have your left hand to completely drop. You see how it hit my thigh like that? That's what I want. I want it to be completely drop, just completely drop, completely weightless. The same as if you're holding your hand up for a long time, okay? You're holding it up and then you just, you don't want to hold it anymore and then you just, you just drop it all the way down. Same thing, except I'm going from here, I'm holding it here and I don't want it anymore, I'm gonna throw it down. If there's anything, any resistance at all, anything, if you go down here, you stop just for a second, or, or, or if you, even if you just slow your descent a little, that's, that's no, you can't do that. It has to be completely relaxed. If it has any sort of resistance, any slowage, anything of the like, you can take a video of yourself maybe or have someone actually hold your hand while it goes down, and then it's not relaxed. And you need to keep working on it. Keep working on the stand and keep working, dropping it and dropping it and dropping it until it is completely relaxed and it hits your thigh. And it can hit your thigh with the, the loud thud, but it doesn't have to, okay? So, again, Go on the music stand. You can wiggle around to make sure that, that this part of your arm is relaxed, this part of the arm is relaxed. You do everything, whatever, and then you stop. You feel the weight of your arm hanging on to these fingers, okay? You feel the weight, all of this, okay? And then just slowly, just all the way down. Just drop. Now, this is what it's going to look like if you are tense. If you are tense, it's going to look something like this. You're going to, oh, I got to drop. There's two, 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 two or three ways that it's, it'll look like if you are tense. It'll go, oh, I'm going to drop. That's not a drop. I took it off. I took it off and put it down because someone told me to put it down. Okay? Or, oh, I've really got a drop. That's not a drop. I, I, I took it slowly down because I was thinking about it and I was thinking, okay, I gotta go down and I gotta hit my thigh. And maybe, maybe you'll do this. You know? You slap your thigh because, oh, I know that I need to slap my thigh. No, the goal is to drop. That's a drop. This is not. It's not a drop. This is not a drop. This is a drop. That's what I want. Very important. This is a very important thing because, again, just like with the thing with the stand earlier, whenever you hit a roadblock, whenever you're practicing, whenever you're in the, even in the middle of a piece, okay, and you feel tense in your left hand, stop what you're doing and just drop. Just drop your left hand 
or just 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 freeze and drop. Okay, very important, very useful, not that many people know about. After you've done the stuff on the stand, you can then graduate to dropping with, without the stand, to the best of your ability. It's a bit harder, but so. So, to make your life a little easier, instead of having your fingers curve like this, try just putting your fingers just flat, flat on the violin, just like this, okay? So you can really feel this weight, this weight, going all the way down, okay? And have the whole weight of your arm just be supported by your head holding the violin. So now instead of the stand holding the weight of my arm and making it relax, now my head is holding it. My head is holding the violin, violin is holding hand, ergo head is holding the hand. It's holding the weight, okay? And so you can do the same thing, wiggle around, flat fingers, remember, and then drop. And your violin will go down like this. If it's proper, your violin will go a little down as the violin wants to, it wants to pop out like this, but you're not gonna let it. You're gonna hold it with your head. And you're gonna drop. And it might, it might shake like it just did. It might bounce a little like that. But you really gotta make sure to drop. Complete weightlessness on the way down. Okay, so that's the next step after the stand, and then after the stand dropping, and then this. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other techniques to try and relax your hand, and a little more of why it might be relaxed. There's a couple reasons on why your left hand might be tense, or even left arm, actually, more, more generally. Um, there's a couple main reasons I'm going to name them, okay? So, one of the main ones is that you are not holding the violin with your head, so you're not properly holding it like this. And, you, you struggle to do this without holding the violin, okay? If, if you struggle to hold the violin without your left hand, then this is your problem. The problem is, is that you're holding the violin, you're, you're holding the violin like so, without your head, okay? And that is resulting in, obviously, your arm holding the violin, ergo, arm is tense because it is holding the violin. And again, this is also going to cause troubles on moving your fingers, especially moving them fast, and especially shifting and all of that. Because when you shift, you have to lift your finger up slightly, and that makes it, and makes it ten times harder when you're also holding the violin with your arm. Another reason why your arm or left hand might be tense is because you're, you're not moving your elbow with each string. Now, this is a little more niche, but it's still sometimes is true. So on the G string, as you notice, my elbow is out here and I can I can perfectly play like this. If it is over here, then there is some type of tension. There's there's some there's some there's some something here. It, it becomes a little tight because I'm trying to reach over here and my elbow is way over here and I'm going like this and I get I get tight. The other reason it might be tight is simply because of bad muscle memory. You may have just picked up the violin when, I don't know, when you were 6A, or maybe you just started and you had a bad teacher, or whatever happened, okay, and your muscle memory is just telling you to be tight and you're holding it wrong, whatever the case may be. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions on that topic. I'll answer them and I'll probably make a video about them too. I like teaching and it makes my day when people ask me questions about technique. So why is it hard to shift, to reach higher notes, and to play fast with your left hand when it is tense and when your arm is tense? Well, because common misconception is that you put down your fingers. When you're playing the violin, when you put down your fingers, you use your muscles of the fingers. That is not true. You are actually using, utilizing the weight of your arm to your advantage. So when I put my finger down, okay, I put my finger down, I have a ton of pressure because of my weight, and I feel completely relaxed, okay? And now, so actually, uh, another misconception is that it's actually harder to take the finger off than put, to put it down, if you do it properly, okay? So you have all the weight on, on, on the violin, this is the violin, let's say, okay? And then I take my finger off, and now it's only being supported by three fingers. Take this finger off, it's being supported by two. Take this finger off, it's being supported by one, and then all them off, it drops, okay? So. To go fast, I have my whole arm completely relaxed, the weight in the fingers, okay, and I take my weight off, and I take the weight off, and I take the weight off, and then it's much easier to run. And to shift, okay, so, if I'm holding my weight the whole time, okay, it's just much harder to move your arm generally if it's tense. That's basically, that's the whole the whole reason why it's harder to shift, right? Because when you shift, you lift your finger a little off the string, you hover over it, and then you go down. And it's a lot more complicated, and I'll have more videos on that. But that when you shift, you have to have your left hand relaxed so that you can take your finger off and glide up. It's harder to reach higher notes because 
Well, again, your arm is tense, and it's, it's harder to move around. So if I'm trying to hit a high note on the G string and my arm is tense, well, it's going to hurt like hell because my I'm literally reaching. I'm reaching. My hand is all tense. Now I'm trying to hold the violin up here. Remember, that's one of the big, biggest problems, right? You don't hold the violin with your head. You hold it with your arm. And how can I hold the violin with my arm when I'm all the way up here? It's very hard, and that's why you can't reach higher notes if your arm, left arm is tense. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave any comments down below about any technique questions. Join my Discord. I have a channel there specifically for technique questions. It makes my day when people ask me anything technique related, violin related, and I love to teach. So please, please reach out to me. And thank you very much for watching.